Today, Nike ID has showed up. Just did the Adidas ZX plot. A different style of a runner, the Roshi Run, Roche Run, however you want to say it. Not a favorite of mine, but nevertheless, did this Nike ID, just this one. There was different pony hair options, three of them. Looks like they're now headed for the Air Max 90 next. They may be okay. I might have to look into that. A little bit disgruntled with the Nike ID right now because there's been no change on the Air Force One since the Pendleton's launched around Christmas time. And who knows when they're going to change it. Some may argue that during the All-Star game that they had some iridescent where you could make a low or a high. They were very limited. I'm not real sure they got out of New York. Even though they did go online, uh, we could all get in there and play with it and move the materials around, basically just an iridescent with a, oh, a choice of a swoosh. The one that everybody made that thinks, well, now that I've made it and they were limited, let's sell them for $400 yet, it'll be back around, or it's really not worth that. That was the only one that had been new, and as I say, I was waiting for it. I'd already known about the link a couple hours before it released, tried to make them. Was not allowed to. They were sold out already. So I believe that was more of a hoax than anything else. And they released for All-Star like most of the this year's All-Star releases were just in New York. Very few got out. Very limited got out. But most everything was designed around being in the city only. And the rest of us got nothing. I think that was a bad marketing move. That's my opinion. I'm sticking to it, and life goes on. Now, above and beyond that, I liked what I put together with just the bright, as everybody knows me, bright volt color. The little speckles add a little bit of something to it. The full pony hair here for the leopard was nice. I had some reds in here to kind of blend with these, but I didn't like them overall on the back. On the Roshi, they do give you like eight letters that you can work with rather than six or seven. So I was able to put Sam Colt on there and even break it up. So it worked out real well. These are very comfortable shoes. I know that from the other styles or the other colorways that I've got, not the style per se. I did make these in a size 12 and a half, so they're going to fit very well. And they'll be a nice shoe for me to wear from time to time. I'll enjoy them because it does have the pony hair. They're very bright. They're customized. A little bit of a limited areas where you can work with on a Roshi. There's not much to the shoe. So that's the downfall there. So they're okay. I like them. I think they turned out very well. But at the same time, they're not overly exciting to me at the moment. And possibly that's because of just how I've changed my opinion on the overall game, culture, whatever you want to call it in the last year or two just because of all of the stuff that's going on. Nice shoe to have for the collection. I've already given away a couple of my IDs at different points. Pendleton's went in Houston last year, so you never can tell. This may be one where someone catches me at the right time and says, hey, I'd really like that, and I pull it off my feet and give it to them. Who knows? Until then, I'll enjoy wearing it, but it won't be the first one that hits the lineup. I've got plenty more that I've had on deck for a long period of time that I'm looking forward to seeing the light of day. First one I'm looking forward to with the nice sun sunshiny days that are supposed to start this weekend, if everything goes well, would be that Adidas ZX in the Zeno. See if that color pops. Good shoes, nice work. But I'm seeing a little bit more, as I said, failures over time. And I think these could have been so much better with just a little bit more thought. And I'm anxious to see the Air Force One give us something new. And I hope it's new, not just recycled. Let's get creative, guys. That's the only thing that's going to keep you going. And give me something that I would really fall in love with and make about 10 more. Roshi Run, Nike IDs. This is what one of the fur options looks like currently. This is the Leopard. Much bigger Leopard than what I thought it was going to be. It is different than the other Leopards that I've made on the Forces. And the Clots, enough said. As always, you can find me here, Sam Colt 12, Instagram, YouTube, Vidi, and the rest, Twitter, SneakerTube TV, 
And I continue to downsize and sell my shoes at GoodShoes.com. I'll post them from time to time over the years. As well, I have auctions on eBay every weekend. Sam Colt 12. Chance to get a few grails as I downsize my collection and let them go. Try to get to a reasonable size. I appreciate everybody continuing to watch. Tell your friends. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Continue to support. I appreciate everybody who's bought the shoes. I'm not real happy with the one or two that asked me if they're real. Well, of course they're real. You can watch them here and you can see as I've collected over the, over the years. But that's the nature of things these days. Thank you to all. And I will continue to buy shoes and post up the videos for everyone to enjoy. Thank you for the support. I do appreciate it. Was that a good bone? Is that a good bone? Hmm? Molly, you got a good bone? You like those? She's trying to steal yours, Sparky. You better go get it. Good dogs. Nice try, Sparky. Y'all share.